Hi everyone! So this is the first video that is Halloween related for me and it's going to be how to make your own little scars and gross little bits and bullet holes, things like that, out of liquid latex. So if you're interested and want to see how it's done, please keep watching. So if you have liquid latex, you could basically make any kind of gory cut and scab or anything you want. Um, you could make something like this, which is more of a burnt skin or melted skin effect. And you can use it at a later date just by applying it to the skin with some liquid latex. You've got more of a deep kind of cut. A smaller kind of incision. A bullet hole. Make them smaller and you could have even vampire bites. And um, just kind of more gory little things, which can be applied to the arms, the face, wherever you might want to apply it. Just make sure you're not allergic to latex because you don't want to be putting this stuff on your skin if you are allergic to latex. What you're going to need is obviously liquid latex. This one's just from Mayron. Some old brushes. So this is just a cheap paint brush that I got in a set from one of the $2 stores. This is an old brush that I never used. So as you can see, that is what's going to happen to your brushes. So do not use good brushes. Toilet paper. With the toilet paper, you want to separate the toilet paper so it's single sheets, just like that. Makes it easier to work with. You need some talcum powder. Once it's dried, you're going to be using that. And an old fluffy brush that you don't really care that much about. And then some form of a plastic case or a plastic sheet. You can apply it to your arms, your face or wherever you want to, um, but just something like this will work fine. Now for this demonstration I'm basically just going to show you how to make something similar to this one here. With all of the patterns and everything that I've done, it's all the same application. You do the same thing. Now you can pour this into a little container but I just don't have one so I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is just get a paintbrush and first is to just get a little bit on the end of your brush, just like that and apply it in the shape that you're after and just get the rough size so it will depend on where you're applying it where on the face or on the arm as to the size that you're going to pick now when you've got a thin layer of latex obviously pop the lid back on and get your toilet paper now with the toilet paper you want to tear off just little bits um, preferably to begin with you want sort of lengths maybe about that long a little bit shorter and then you're just going to get them between your fingers and roll them up breaks don't worry because we can still use it and this actually probably is a better length anyway so roll it up and stick it on top of that latex just pushing it down really gently like that just into the latex the other side. So just roll the toilet paper up. That's what's actually going to make the texture and actually going to create the outside of your cut or your scar or whatever it's going to be. And that's what it looks like. Now once you've got that, then tear off kind of squarish pieces, more like that, and apply it over the top. of the cut like that getting the end of your brush just push it down on the outside like that and curve it around that rolled toilet paper push it down it's kind of just giving it a smoother effect like that so you're just kind of covering it over like a thin toilet paper blanket <laughs> so again you can work with bigger bits if you want like that covering the whole thing and just push it down now once you've covered the whole lot in a thin coat of 
toilet paper. You want to get some liquid latex on your brush and then just go over the whole wound or scar, whatever it is that you're making. It's more to cover it, to make sure that all that toilet paper is covered with liquid latex. So that's basically it there. So what you've got is a thin layer of liquid latex underneath, the rolled toilet paper, then the smoothed out toilet paper that you've pushed around the rolled toilet paper just to make it a little bit smoother so it all kind of blends in together. And over the top of all of that, you've got a layer of liquid latex. Give it about an hour or two to dry, depending on the environment that you're in as well. Um, and depending on how thick you've made it, try not to make it too thick, otherwise it will take a long time to dry. But once it is dry, it'll look something like this. So, as you can see, you've got the raised outsides here. And you've got the little excess that you can use to stick to your skin. Now, when this actually dries, it's still a little bit tacky. So what you're going to want to use is the talcum powder or some form of setting powder just to basically set it so it doesn't stick to itself. So I'm just going to use talcum powder on the end of a fluffy brush just to set that. I'm just going to go over the top. So once you've applied the talcum powder, it's not going to stick to itself. So just find an edge that will come up fairly easily and then peel it off. Now this side is going to be slightly sticky so you may want to put it aside and just put some more talcum powder over it. So you can see underneath that's basically the base. It's really smooth and soft and this is the side that's going to go against your skin. Whereas this side is very textured and quite disgusting. <laughs> so that is what the end results are. So again to get a deeper kind of cut you just want to apply a little bit more toilet paper. For something like this, you don't really even have to use toilet paper at all. I have used a little bit, but just flattened it out and kind of texturized it by dotting the brush against it like that. Something like this, I used very flat toilet paper rolled up. Again, you just saw how I made one like that, which is very popular. Um, that's probably the easiest one to do. Um, things like this with the bullet holes, making them a little bit smaller. Again, you could make vampire bites if that's your thing. <laughs> then, as another idea, which I will be using this one later on, just adding some staples. So I just got a little mini stapler and literally just stapled through it. And... Um, across the back once the staples were in I just applied another layer of liquid latex to cover the sharp bits of the staples so they're not pressed up against the skin. You could even get a needle with say something like that and stitch through it to stitch it up and um, that would look kind of gruesome and gory as well. I'd probably recommend if you can do it to do it before you've got it on your body so you don't stab yourself. <laughs> Um, but it might make it decorating it a little bit harder, but it's not going to be too difficult at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you've learned something new and you get to use it this Halloween. So that is how to use liquid latex.